Beware of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Why do you think Conor McGregor was able to knock out Jose with the left hook after predicting it? There's something called the self-fulfilling prophecy in which we start becoming like the engineer of what happens in our life. We start engineering it based on our thoughts. Now, this can go in a positive way or a negative way depending on how you used to use it. If it's, for example, like someone who's nervous and anxious all the time who starts becoming, who starts believing that this is part of his personality, this is an unchangeable um, characteristic, will go into every exam with that mentality and can end up uh, sabotaging themselves through this mindset because they don't even try. They start saying, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. I suck ass at tests. This is just going to be exactly the same as any other test. Despite their knowledge or anything of the material, they start self-sabotaging themselves and this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Or sometimes you see someone who might not have the adequate skills to do something, but they have supreme confidence in their skills. So they actually manage to do the thing based off their beliefs, based off the idea that they didn't think that they couldn't do it in the first place. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now this goes the same way in fights it's generally the person who has the greater belief that ends up winning not just the person who has the physical stamina or the most skill in the ring or life in general it depends on what you believe that is going to happen that will happen as long as you apply the adequate you know energy and effort behind it now what also helps the self-fulfilling prophecy is this term called the reticular activation system which is a big word that basically means things you choose to focus on in life if I was to mention a word you've never heard of before like maybe erroneous or apotheosis don't be surprised to start seeing the word everywhere or perhaps if you were to buy a new car don't be surprised if you start seeing that new car everywhere basically the world around us is filled with too much information for our brain to process, right? All, all of it. So it chooses to focus on certain things that are going to help us in survival or, or what it thinks is important. So if your new car is important to you, your brain will focus on that. If the word erroneous or apotheosis becomes important to you, your brain will start focusing on that and filtering other things. So we start having this idea that there is more of the thing now than there was previously when there was just as much of this new car before you bought it as there is now it's just that you're focusing on it so your reticular activation system helps you choose what you focus on and those things you focus on plus your beliefs help shape what your self-fulfilling prophecy is going to do so in the case of Conor McGregor in his fight against Jose, he mentioned that he Jose was gonna come in heavy with the right and he was gonna step back, slip out, and knock him out. Now because he already thought about this and this is what he's focusing on, so it's in his reticular activation system. So when it did happen, everything was just automatic. It became a self fulfilling prophecy. So try and make self-fulfilling prophecies that help benefit you and not ones that help you know suppress your potential and you will go very far indeed